Dark Water is a movie telling the story about this small town that was being slowly polluted throughout their water by a big company which I actually can't really remember the name of right now but what they were doing was they were creating all this stuff and then the pollution instead of getting rid of it properly they just bought this big landfill and they just threw everything in there polluting all the water and we see it first damaging all the animals and then it slowly moves on to the people and this story takes place over 20 years and it, it's a true story I was going into it I heard it was good and I was really excited to see it and leaving it it kind of blew my mind because this disease that these people have we all have it. like I have it. I've, I've been to America twice and I have this disease in my body it just shows that something that majorly happens in America if it affects the entire world that it said 99% I think it said 99% of all humans had it and the entirety of the animal population of the world has this disease in their system and it's something I didn't even know I had until I actually watched this movie so it shows that how much little people would know about this unless this kind of see this movie or they kind of were alive during this time period because it really was live late 90s early 2000s when I wasn't really massively around in the early 2000s I was a child so I didn't really know about this so I found it really interesting actually to be able to hear this story especially because I didn't know anything about it but I didn't find this true story really really interesting my favorite element about this movie was Mark Ruffalo's performance I have only ever actually seen him play the Hulk as you can see you got two Hulk pop finals right here but as I said he's the only thing I've ever seen him is as the Hulk so I was really cool to actually see him play someone different and the way he played this actor or this character well he was actually a real person the way he played him I thought was really brilliant you felt like you felt every single time he's on screen he's really anxious you see him like his shoulders like this majority of the time his hands are shaking like crazy you could tell that the smallest thing might set him off because he's just extremely anxious about what's happening around him what he's been building and how it can all just crumble at any time and the fact that this he plays this so well I felt it felt really believable to me it felt like this man was suffering with major anxiety over everything he's going through and it just it really took me out of the movie as well just to see how surprising Mark Ruffalo I know he's a good actor just you can see that in the Marathon movies but this movie I just thought is his best performance of what I've seen I just couldn't get over how great he was in this movie and he just was able to portray this character in such a massively brilliant way and the movie is I think it's just over two hours long and it feels a lot longer but it doesn't feel longer as in like it never ends it feels longer because they throw so much into this movie so much information is given to you but I think it is just it's paced out brilliantly where no dull moments this movie I was never bored I never wanted to check my phone to see how long was left because I was just so invested and so involved to see what was going to happen because I was really interested to see how this whole case kind of ended how like what happens in the end are we all cured or something I kind of figured we wouldn't be cured on it but I was wondering how it would go about like is the water clean now and I was, wondering, I was really interested to see and the way the movie ended I was a bit I kind of felt a bit let down the way it ended. It kind of ended really abruptly. It kind of just, he was in the middle of saying something and it just shut off and then it came with text explaining what happened. And the way that was, I didn't really like, I just kind of took me, in. not to know, I just didn't like how it ended. I wanted to see a little bit more. I, I wouldn't have minded if just another half an hour in this movie just kind of going into a little bit more because I just didn't like how it just kind of summarized it up at the end instead of kind of letting us see it visually it just made us read it on text which I wasn't really a massive fan of that but other than that I really did enjoy this movie I thought it was probably as I said it is Mark Ruffalo's best performance to me personally it's a movie I would 100% recommend you I think you really it's a movie you probably really should see just to get all this information but I don't think it's a movie I'd ever watch again. I don't think it really has any rewatchability factors. But as I said, it is one I'd highly recommend. So if you have seen the movie, let me know your thoughts on the movie in the comments and down below. Click the subscribe button so you can come back next time we do another movie review or ranking. And as always, thanks for watching.